Don't tell me you lost your sea angel already. I... Diana. So, did you, um, enjoy your tour of the island? Yes. Brian showed me all around. It's a beautiful island. Yeah, I think so. Best part is, most of the world doesn't know we're here. Not that I couldn't use the business, but as I say, once they discover you, there's no going back. I guess the same thing can be said for people, as well as islands. Well, maybe in the morning I can take a long walk and look around. I wasn't really paying much attention to what I was seeing, I'm afraid. Oh, don't apologize. You've been hurt. You're not yourself. You know, Liz didn't mean anything by that. No, it's all right. And she's right. I'm not myself since I, I can't remember who I am. Just because I'm not ready to have a sense of humor about my situation doesn't mean the rest of you can't. Wise words, young lady. One of the best remedies I know for stress is a finely tuned sense of humor. The more you worry, the longer it'll take for you to regain your memory. Just try to relax, not strain your mind too much. That's your best bet. I'll try. When Brian and I were down on the beach, uh, I had a moment where I thought I might be Sheridan Crane. You did? Yeah. I read a story about her in the newspaper, being lost at sea. But then Brian told me that her body had been found and identified. I can't get her out of my mind, though. I, I don't know why. Well, I think I do. I think I know why you can't get Sheridan Crane out of your mind. Why? Tell me. Oh, you know, what's the difference? We already know that the woman's dead. The papers confirmed who she was through her fingerprints and her dental records, Doc. Don't bite Doc's head off. Just let him explain what he means. Well, it's simple, really. Diana here read about what happened to Sheridan Crane at sea. And their experiences were so similar, she's just identifying with her. It's no wonder you're upset realizing how close you came to losing your own life out in the hurricane. I think all Diana needs is to be left alone so she can get a good night's sleep. It'll help you forget all about this Sheridan Crane. I just wanted to make sure you had everything you needed. Yeah. I, I, I'm fine. Good. You had kind of a faraway look in your eye when you are looking out the window. Anything come back to you? Uh, no, no, nothing that makes any sense. Must be awful frustrating. Look, if there's anything I can do for you, anything at all, just ask, okay? You've been so kind. I, I wouldn't even know what to ask for. Except... <laughs> no, forget it. It's, it's too silly. No, no, go ahead. Ask away. You're going to think I'm crazier than you probably already do. I mean, it's hotter than July here, and for some reason I have this terrible craving for a hot cocoa. Liz probably wouldn't even have any. Actually, I just happen to know where a secret stash is. Coming right up. <laughs> hot cocoa. I wonder where that came from. Thank you. Mm, this is good. <laughs> well, people do tell me I make a mean cup of hot cocoa. <laughs> so does it remind you of anything? I feel like it should. I'm not sure. I wish I could help. I wish you could too. Well... I guess I should let you get some sleep. 
Thank you for being so nice. Anytime. What is it? What am I feeling? 